So, you just started a new VR project, but you have no clue where to begin? Well, that's what we are here for, to teach you everything you need to know to get your project from this to this. I'm Jafar Jay from Tutorials.eu and I am going to show you how to make your very own VR game. So let's get going! Hey, and by the way, we also have an article that you can find on our blog that is going over everything that you will see in this video with the code and also the resources. So you can just download them from there, definitely check them out. And maybe you just want to read through it instead of just watching the video or just use it as additional material. So check out the link in the description to get to the blog post. Okay, start by creating a new project. Open up your new fancy Unity Hub and click on new project. For this video, I'll be using 2021.1.12f1. You should be able to use just any version and even maybe if you use newer ones, things will be even easier. But for now, if you want to stick with this tutorial step by step perfectly without any issues, just choose the same one as me. As a template, select the 3D one. Get to projects, project name, just call it everything you want. VR, I don't know, masterpiece, that sounds nice, okay. Then just create project and let it load. Huh, this is taking long. Okay, great, we have a new project without anything done with it. Now let's get to VR essentials. First thing you gotta do is open up edit, project settings, all the way down to XR Plugin Management and just install XR Plugin Management. Now just wait for it. Okay, great. So we have a bunch of different plugins here. We are going to use the most cross-platform thing there is. Like I just did, click on OpenXR, let it load, it will install everything you will need and that's it. Hey, look at that, a pop-up. What's it telling us? To sum it up, it will be using Unity's new input system, which we will be making a video for in the near future, so if you want to see that, better subscribe so you don't miss it. But for now, let's just accept this. This is just going to be enabling the new Unity input system for us to use with the OpenXR plugin. So accept it and it'll install everything there is. Okay, next step. A little warning, click on it. Fix all. That's done. And now, what is this? Profiles. You need them. Go click on edit. It'll take you to this window. Do you have profiles? No, you don't. Interaction profiles. The list is empty. Click on plus. Here you can select the VR glasses you have and basically the markers you want to go for. You see Oculus, Valve, Microsoft, Kronos, whatever you need. In my case, it'll be the Oculus one, since that's what I have. And this time, just for those that are using the Quest and the Quest 2, for some reason, just using OpenXR and that's it, nothing else on it, will not work on the Oculus Quest 2. To get that fixed, uncheck OpenXR and check Oculus. This will install the packages needed to make the Quest work with our game. Amazing! Okay, we have Oculus installed. If you do have a Quest, keep Oculus checked, because that will run it in a way that the Quest can understand. For anyone else, leave OpenXR and that's it. The rest of the tutorial will be exactly the same, so don't even worry about it. Okay, next step, Package Manager. Should be right here, if not Windows Package Manager. In Packages, instead of in Project Unity Registry, click on here, XR, it will show you everything XR related. In our case, we need the XR Integration Toolkit. We don't have it here, why don't we have it here? Because of this, Edit, Project Settings, all the way to Package Manager, down here you should be seeing Enable Pre-Release Packages. If you're using a newer version of Unity, maybe this package is already out of preview, but in, in my case, and for everyone else using my Unity version and my package version, this will be needed for it to even show up in the Package Manager. Click on I understand, because you do understand that this is a preview package. Close it again, find now the XR Integration Toolkit, which should be right about here, and click on Install. Again, wait for it. Okay, we have it installed now. Now, to make your life easier, click on samples and download the default input actions. And there they are. Now again, go to edit project settings and look for preset manager. Since OpenXR will be using presets for everything. As we can see, there is now absolutely nothing that can't stay like this. So 
open up assets samples xr interaction toolkit usually if you import it here it should have opened immediately if not assets samples xr interaction toolkit now just go all the way to this window here this will be the different presets how do we use them just click on it click on add to action based continuous move provider default for each one of them Did you see that? There we are. It. And here they are. Last thing you have to configure for this, just set up which controller is which. As you can see, XRI default right controller should be right. And the left one should basically be left. That's it. You just have to tell it which, which is which. Great. Close this off. Open up this. And you'll have this window here. As you can see, we have XRI HMD, which stands for head motor display. XRI left hand and XRI right hand. This will have everything you will need to be able to control it properly. And by the way, this is like said, the new input system. So if you want to learn about it, subscribe to this channel because in the near future, we will be making a complete video about how to use the new input system. For now, let's just leave it as is. And this means that this was it. Go back to your scene and we can finally start to actually build the game. Oh, uh, sorry, um, I guess someone's knocking on my door. I'll be right back, don't worry. Wait, what? Dennis? What, what, are, what, what are you doing here? Wait, don't, don't, why are you going? Uh, why are you going towards my PC? Quick pause. So I built this complete Unity Masterclass course in which you are going to learn how to build real games and how to build them from scratch. So you're going to learn how to build a platformer game, how to build a Space Invaders clone, how to build a Fruit Ninjas clone and optimize it for mobile and export it for mobile as well, how to build a first person shooter game and finally how to build a tycoon game similar to Adventurist which is an endless game. So if you want to become a real game developer definitely check out the course. You can find the link in the description and you will get the course with a huge discount so don't hesitate as you will not only get the course but you will also get it in a structured manner with all of the code as well as a Q&A section with a five star support. So get the course now. I hope to see you there. Okay, uh, where were we? Go around to the center where the camera icon thing is. Right click, create 3D object, plane, click on reset, it will set it at, at the absolute zero point, make it a little bit bigger, I don't know, let's say 3, okay that's fine. Place a little cube in here, reset that as well, and place it around here, just to, so we can use it later on as a reference point. Now right click on the hierarchy again, go to XR, XR rig action base. This will be using the new input system. You can as well use the old system, but the old one is soon to be deprecated anyway, so it's better to just go with the newer things. Once done, you will have it around here. Okay, you know, we have to reset it. There we go, that's better. Okay, we have our XR rig. Now the next steps will be add component. Action Manager, there we go, open Action Assets up, click on plus, drag this thingy here up in here, that's it. This basically gives, gives the XR rig all the controls we set up in this asset. And that's kind of already it, that's the entire XR rig that we will be needing to be able to use our headset in our Unity project. But we are still missing some things. Let's start with movement. For that, right click here, XR, locomotion system, action based as well. This will give you a game object with different components that we'll be using to be able to move our player. These components include the most typically used movement systems in VR. So basically teleportation and snap turn provider. But that's a bit of a yikes in my book, so I'm gonna just go and remove component in both cases. Now add component and just type in continuous. There we go, move predator action based, like you can see here, you move predator action based. And again, for turn provider, continuous turn provider action based, which is at least my preferred option. If you get motion sick pretty fast, 
maybe choose to maintain one of the two. You can get them by typing turn for snap turn provider and by typing teleportation for teleportation provider. That's it. So what do these here mean? Left hand move action and right hand move action. We obviously don't want to be using both axes to make both things. So in our case, I will be using my left thumbstick to be moving and my right thumbstick to be turning. So continuous move provider, leave the left hand move action checked and uncheck the right hand move action. And for the turning, uncheck the left hand turn action and leave checked the right hand turn action. Last thing missing is just grab your locomotion system and plop it into these systems right here. In this one and in this one. And literally, that's just it. Let's test it. Put on your headset, click on play, and look at this. We have hands, both of them with laser pointers, which is nice, and we have movement. I am moving, look at the cube. I am perfectly moving and I'm turning. Okay, right thumbstick, left thumbstick. Perfectly working. And how long did that take you? Since this was really quick, what about a grab system? Okay, okay, how do we do that? For that, right click again and create a little ball. We said that. Place it on this cube, make it smaller. Like a point to something like that. For all three of them. No, you have a little ball. Now the big question. How do we grab it? Add component XR grab interactable and that's it. Now so just so you know, this component here is actually pretty nice, really complete with a lot of different options and things and configurations. Look through it. This time we just want to be able to be grabbed and that's about it. But if you want to play around a bit, if you even go and break something and you want to reset, like the transform, reset and you got it back to its default state. Okay, what now? Nothing more. Play. Can switch it from hand to hand. And even with my thumbstick, move it away. And what can I do with that then? I can... Throw it. Uh, oh. Well, no, I don't have a ball anymore. Hey, guess who's back and is no giant? Okay, no, never mind. Okay, all right, everything's working great. We have what we wanted, but things are looking a bit boring here. Maybe we should do some changes around here. Let me just. And okay, there we go. That looks way better than before. This almost looks even like an actual game now. And look, some bricks that I could stack on top, I guess. Yep, I can. And there we go. Not that tall, but hey, did my best. That's a pretty big track. Hey, actually. This place looks kind of familiar, like as if I have seen it before. I don't like these bushes over there, like I feel like I should have something to defend myself, but against what? Brick maybe? This kind of looks like something I could use, but what am I defending? Like As you can see, in just a matter of few minutes, we managed to make a complete base for your very own VR game, application or whatever you may need. A fully functioning system made just with the included components that opening up brings us. Ready to expand upon with your own locomotion system, interaction system, even going as far as adding weapons, interactable objects, vehicles or even a full body character with its own IK based limb movement. So no use this base and add your own things. Get to know some more advanced components that OpenXR offers or make your own custom made components even. And hey, if you want us to teach you how to continue your VR game dev journey, then let us know in the comments down below and make sure to like this video so we know that you're interested. Apart from that, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it and I wish you good luck with your own game dev journey. I'll see you next time. Bye!